Hey guys, welcome to Tenorshare. This Apple ID is not active when verifying your Apple ID. This problem can be caused by entering the wrong password multiple times or having your account disabled by Apple. In this case, you will not be able to use your Apple ID account. Don't worry if this happens to you. In this video, I will show you four ways to fix Apple ID not active. Let's get started. Step 1. Restart your iPhone. This is a universal fix. This can fix the system issue with a small probability. However, it is not recommended to do this when the device is low on space. This may cause the device to fail to turn on. Now you need to press and hold the volume and power buttons. Wait for the power off slider to pop up. Slide to power off to turn off the device. Wait for your device to go black and then leave it for a minute. Turn on your device by holding the power button again. Then you can authenticate your Apple ID again. See if this resolves the Apple ID inactivation issue. If this method doesn't solve your problem, then you need to try the next step. Step 2. Change password with iPhone. In case your device is working properly, you need to tap Settings. Then select your Apple ID account. Tap on Sign in and Security. Here you will be able to select the Change Password feature. You need to enter your device passcode. Then you can reset your Apple ID password. But if you haven't set your device lock screen passcode, then you need to do two-factor authentication. Use your other Apple device or phone number for verification. Then do a new password setup. This will solve the Apple ID problem. But if you are unable to change your Apple ID password using your iPhone, then you can try to do the next step on the computer side. Step 3. Reset Apple ID password with I forgot. You need to visit iforgot.apple.com in your browser for an Apple ID password reset. Enter your Apple ID account. Then type the characters in the image. Click on Continue. You need to enter the corresponding phone number and click Continue. Then I forgot will send a reset password reminder to your device. You can then reset your password directly on your device. If you don't have an Apple device with you, you can select Don't have access to any of your Apple devices. Just follow the instructions to use other methods for Apple ID password reset. If you just want to delete the locked Apple ID account and sign into a new Apple ID account to use it, then I think this next method is the easiest and effective. Method 4. Remove Apple ID using Tenorshare 4 UK. You can download it from the link described below the video. Now connect your device to your computer. A trust this computer prompt may pop up. You need to tap Trust and enter your device password. Launch 4UK on your desktop. You need to select Remove Apple ID. 4UK will detect your device and provide the latest version of iOS firmware for download. Click Download. Wait for the iOS firmware download to complete. Once the download is complete, you need to make sure that your device has a 6-digit lock screen passcode set and two-factor authentication turned on. Then you can click on the Start Removal option. This will reset your device to remove the Apple ID. Remember to back up your device's data in advance. The process will last for about 10 minutes. Once it's done, your device will reboot. You will then need to set up your device. On the Activation Lock page, you will need to choose to unlock with passcode. Then select Use Device Passcode. Type in the device passcode to unlock your device. Then continue to set up your device. On the Transfer Your Apps and Data page, you need to select the Recovery Backup option that suits you. After completing the setup, you are ready to use your device. Choose to sign in to your new Apple ID to use it. These are the four ways to fix why Apple ID is not active. Thank you for your patience in watching. Hope the solution in the video will help you solve your device issues. If you have any other Apple device issues, please write in the comments. We will help you answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and let's see you in the next video.